Fender there, my dear. <laughs> Getting set for the start. On the restart, Tim Richmond first. Coming up next, the NEA special. Whose school is it? A WTBS special. Next on the Superstation today. If Rutman passes Waltrip, Darrell Waltrip's margin slips to just one point by which he would take second place from Tim Richmond. We have to realize that both Joe Rutman and Bobby Allison in fifth and sixth have fresher tires than Darrell Waltrip. And that could happen. They could put him down. There's the green out, and here we are settling down for the finish of the Winston Western 500 here in California this afternoon. I think Under Jeff Bodine will try to beat Tim Richmond in turn nine if at all possible. Well, this is where he's got to do it, right here. Down they come. 114 laps complete. Here comes Bodine looking for any kind of margin by which he could move around the 25. It's not to be on the inside. You have to hang the whole car down in the dirt as they come off the corner, up to the inside, a little lower line for Dale Earnhardt. And as they come back to the line, Earnhardt stays third, Waltrip fourth, Rutman fifth, Allison sixth, Bobby Hillen in seventh. Back they go, up through the S's. Richmond trying to stay out in front to win his 11th Winston Cup race in his career. He's using the whole racetrack. Oh, is he looks like he's qualifying again. Bouncing off the curves, ricocheting around the racetrack. Here comes Earnhardt making a move on number five, Bodine. Tremendous battle for second place. Sitting there watching it all, just licking his chops for second in the standings is Darrell Waltrip. There's that number 11 car just behind the number three of Dale Earnhardt. We're watching it live on the Superstation, WTBS. Getting further back in the field. Tenth is Kenny Schrader right now. Eleventh, Labonte. Twelfth is Mark Martin. Thirteenth, Richard Petty. Fourteenth is Bill Schmidt. Fifteenth is Kyle Petty. Glenn Sturr from the West Coast is running in sixteenth position. In front, Tim Richmond trying to draw away from Jeff Bodine. He has, Ken. He's got about a 10-car length lead on Bodine now. Next year, Richmond, Bodine, Waltrip. First, second, and fourth in this race. All drive for Rick Hendrick. How do you think it's going to work with all three of those guys? Pretty much under the same colors. I think you're going to see it just like today, like Rick Hendrick said, Ken. Whatever, whatever happens on the racetrack happens. There'll be a lot of pressure among those three that they'll generate among themselves. Just three laps to go. Rusty Wallace is in eighth. Neil Bonnet in ninth. There you see Waltrip in the 11 car, and there's Joe Rutman tagging right along. Great finish. Remember that Joe Rutman had a second place here back in 81. He'd like to move up a little this afternoon. And it's not just that he wants to take Rutman or take Waltrip down on the points. This is as good a run as he has had. It sure is. Rutman has driven an excellent race. I think the thing is about that caution flag that it allowed Darrell Waltrip's tires to cool. So now he is more equal on tires with the rest of the fellows that pitted on that last caution flag. Well, as the laps go away here, however, his tires will go away faster than the others. They and should. see what happens. But Riverside at times is a hard track to pass on, so he might be able to hold them off. As we get down to the finish this afternoon, 116 of 119 laps are complete. Waltrip falls a bit further back from those leaders, and Richmond extends car number 25 out in front. I think Tim Richmond is qualifying every lap, and he is running, running these last few laps just absolutely as hard as he can. He certainly is fun to watch. There is a different style to Tim Richmond than any other driver out here these days, but it's probably closest in the way he just deliberately crashes that car to a lot of the very Dale Earnhardt thing. If it's got it, if the car can stand it, use every bit that it has. Here comes Richmond up through the S's. That's been his piece of cake all weekend. He really knows how to straighten out those corners. And here comes Earnhardt. This is where he's gobbling up Bodine. Look at him close in right here. They get out on that long backstretch. Earnhardt doesn't have the dig down the backstretch to make a move on Bodine. But boy, is he eating him up right through here. A couple of laps ago, we saw him get in there. They made contact. Here he's inside again. They come down to turn eight. This is the last tight corner. And then you'll see that long charge down the backstretch. The pattern, the last couple of laps has been that Bodine is able to pull away there and as you mentioned Bill it's a tough racetrack to pass on Earnhardt's only got a couple of laps left if he's going to get Bodine looks like this is where Bodine has the strength right here well, I think you're right Dave Earnhardt's within a car length but uh, he cannot do anything with Bodine on the back stretch let's see what he'll do in turn number nine this time Earnhardt has been getting in a very strong each lap 
And as these laps come down to the very last moments of the 1986 season, Tim Richmond, who turned it all around, midway through and just kept on winning races, seems to be on his way to victory here, the seventh of the season. One lap to go. When they come by this time, Harold Kinder drops the white. Whoa! Wild! Loose for a moment is number five, and here comes Earnhardt. Dale Earnhardt running Bodine wheel to wheel. Now who's going to give? It is Earnhardt taking that second position away from Jeff Bodine. Magnificent move off turn number nine as they continue to thrash him around. Earnhardt got up beside him off the turn nine and, uh, and held him even through turn one and just beat him down into turn two. And look at him pull away. Just flying away now from Jeff Bodine. The only place he seems shy on power was in that long back straightaway. There he was hurting. Everywhere else he has it covered. It'll be interesting to see what Bodine does as they come down for the finish. He's got Darrell Waltham to worry about now. Darrell Waltham is riding his back bumper. I almost wonder if something's gone away on car number five. Here it is. The last time down this straightaway. Richmond in front. There is that Bodine car followed by Waltrip in the fourth position. Waltrip looks like he's on his way into that second place in the standings. The last time into turn number nine. Tim Richmond there. Dale Earnhardt second. Jeff Bodine in third. Darrell Waltrip in fourth. But Tim Richmond riding just an incredible finish to this 1986 season. He's coming on to win it. It won't be enough to give him second place in the standings, but it certainly will help his pocketbook. To the line. Across for the checkers. Tim Richmond victorious in second, Dale Earnhardt. Third is Jeff Bodine. Fourth, Darrell Waltrip. And fifth, Joe Rutman this afternoon. The sixth position to Bobby Allison. And finishing in seventh, Bobby Hillen. That should be enough, and there may be a change in that. Bobby Hillen may go up to sixth position. Bobby right Hillen passed his teammate, Bobby Allison, going in turn nine in the last lap. And there's Tim Richmond, your winner. We'll get an opportunity to meet with him in just a moment in victory lane after this thundering victory for the Hendrick Racing Stable. Hillen up to congratulate the